Hey everybody, this is Julie with Ready, Set, Stamp at .com. And over on Card Crazy 09 with Mary, she was saying that there's a, I think it's called a cricket challenge or something like that with a long card. So I thought, you know, that'd be kind of fun to try that. So anyway, I'm going to try it. So um, this card is cut at four by nine and a quarter, which will fit in one of those um, business size envelopes. And what this is, uh, these are, I don't know if you can see those. There you go. Those are some clear dragonfly stickers. And I picked these up when I was in uh, England visiting my grandparents. And I love these. These are very coveted because I can't find anything like this in the States. And so um, I absolutely love these. And it's from the Paper Mill Shop. And they actually have papermilldirect.co.uk. So... Um, if you're interested in ordering those, you can get them there. And so anyway, here's these little dragonflies. And what I love, watch this, when you peel them off, they are completely clear as well as iridescent. So they pick up any color that you put them on. So let me show you this. These are just gorgeous stickers. You can't really tell here that they're iridescent and glittery, but they are. So what I'm going to do is just put three on here and I'm going to do there's like big ones and small ones so now can you see that how it kind of took on the blue there it's really iridescent super pretty so I'm going to put three on here and then cut them out and then come right back okay so I've gone ahead and adhered this is that cardstock that you saw that I got yesterday and I love the colors of it here and I went ahead and um, scalloped the bottom edges with this treading waters Fiskars punch and then what I'm going to do here, I have these Heidi Grace, and they're called Borders and Tags. And they're chipboard pieces that are self-adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple bo um, borders down here. Just trying to press this onto here. There's one. And then I'm going to take this other one here that's a deeper pink. Let's see here if I can poke this out of here. There we go. This deeper pink. And then I'm going to add this one down here. And then I'm going to trim off the excess here. So I'm just going to put this here and then trim off this and then come right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and adhered the card onto here. And then what I've done is taken some of the salmon color cardstock that I had. I just had a scrap laying around. So I took the salmon color cardstock on the back and put the polka dot on the top of it. And I did three of them so that I could lay it out this way and then put one over here and put one down here. Because I thought that would be kind of just a different layout on this card and I thought that would look really neat. So I'm going to go ahead with that. And then um, I am going to use some of these little tags that uh, Heidi Grace has here. So I think I'm going to use this circle one here. And put that onto this one right here. And then I'm going to use this circle one over here, this striped one. And then put this one on top here. I just like all the colors in this. And then this one here that's uh, rectangle in shape, I'm going to use this tag that's a little heart. And then take this here. This is a little piece of ribbon that I just kind of tied to give it a little more just a little something fun to the card so I'm gonna just adhere that right here and I thought it went nicely with the colors that are in here as well so that's what I have there I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these onto the back here with my little Xyron that I did go ahead and load back up because it ran out add this onto here and then my last one that I have here. Oh, let me try to make sure and center this like I did this other one here. There we go. And then this last one here. I like the layout of this card. I just kind of thought this up in my head. I thought it would be really cute like that. So there's that. And then what I'm going to do now is in the very, very beginning, we had used these dragonflies. And the trick to cutting these dragonflies out is that when you're laying them onto a card, you lay them onto a card like this, and you have their little antennas hang off the side. And then I don't even bother cutting those because 
those are a pickle to cut and ooh, yeah we don't need that so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this onto here like so and then these two little butterflies are not butterflies what am I saying these dragonflies and adhere these two little dragonflies like this maybe I'll have one going this direction one going this direction and one like that so anyway oh that Sun's kind of a little in the way isn't it let me see if I can kind of zoom in a little bit maybe I'll take a picture here and stick it at the very end of this video too so you can kind of see it because it looks like it's a little hard to see there so I'll go ahead and take a picture of it and then you guys can see it and this is what I'm going to be entering in that challenge that card crazy 09 that's Mary uh, mentioned about so there it is and I hope you guys have a great day bye bye